I'm here at Air Tattoo 2017 on Ohaku Air Base and behind me are a pair of F-18 booting up and if there's anything I've learned today there's one thing I'll take home Jets are really, really loud! The F-A-18 began its life as the YF-17 the competitor to the YF-16 which later became the F-16 In the late mid 70s the US Navy was looking to find something cheaper to complement the incredible F-14 Tomcat the Navy first looked at the Air Force's light fighter program, which the YF-16 won. However, it was a little skeptical that a single-engine, narrow landing gear aircraft could be easily modified for carrier operations. So, the US Navy asked McDonnell Douglas and Northrop to develop the YF-17 to what would become the FA-18. The FA-18 entered service in 1983 with the United States Navy, and served alongside the F-14 Tomcat. Several modifications were made to make the YF-17 aircraft carrier worthy, from a strengthened landing gear, a tail hook, accommodations for a catapult launch, and folding wings, just to name a few. However, one of the more interesting modifications are the engines. The General Electric F-404 engines were developed for the F-18 Hornet, which was designed to have a quick response to throttle inputs vital for a successful carrier landing, as well as being especially designed to be more resistant to compressor stalls. Ok, quick recap on how a jet engine works. Air comes in the front and is scooped up by the compressor and gets compressed. The high pressure air, now dense with oxygen, goes into the combustion chamber and is mixed with fuel and burnt. Now high pressure, high temperature air is allowed to escape out the back of the engine, providing thrust and also turning a turbine which drives the compressor. The most dangerous kind of compressor stall, the axisymmetric stall, or compressor surge, occurs when the compressor blades completely stalls Thus, instead of the air flowing along its surface and being forced into the compressor, it instead separates from the blade surface and forms vortices. Since there is no more incoming air, the already compressed air in the combustion chamber backtracks through the compressor in a phenomena called flow reversal, resulting in a loud bang. Without any more air to sustain combustion, this would result in a sudden loss of thrust, which often causes the engine to be violently thrown about in its mounting. Without combustion, the engine would throw unburned fuel out the back, often resulting in a long fire plume behind the engine, and if sustained for long enough, the flame could go out in the engine, thus requiring a restart. Neither of which is ideal when on final approach to a carrier deck. This can be caused by throttling up too fast, but this is quite uncommon these days, as modern engines have limiters that stop the pilot from throttling up too quickly. The second and more common cause is an inlet disturbance, where something causes air in the inlet to change from laminar to turbulent flow. The compressor blade which was running optimally in smooth laminar flow cannot deal with the sudden change to turbulent flow and instead stalls. This is often caused by pulling high angles of attack, as there is often a lot of turbulence generated at the leading edge of the wing, creating a lot of turbulent air. Other causes can be foreign object ingestation, this can be birds, dust, or even water on a rainy day, as it affects the properties of the air. To deal with this problem, the General Electric F404 engine found on the FA-18 has a separate fan installed in front of the compressor, whose sole purpose is to smooth out the air before entering the compressor. Interestingly, ground attack aircraft such as the A-10 Warthog and the MiG-27 Flogger have compressor stall problems when firing their cannon. As the gases from firing are highly turbulent and void of any oxygen, to which the engines are essentially designed to shut down where the gun is being fired. With engines like the F-404, the engine and compressor stalls are no longer a limiting factor in aircraft maneuverability. Combined with other design features, such as a low loading wing, gives the FA-18 legendary maneuverability. 